if you've got an interest in butterflies and perhaps have previously been involved in the big butterfly count, you may be interested to know that there are three other ways that you could perhaps get involved in the monitoring of butterflies. My name is Christine Blythe and I survey butterflies for the Garden Butterfly Survey, preferably when the sun's shining and even better with a GMT in my hand. The data that Butterfly Conservation would like you to record is essentially which species you see, how many of those species that you see, i.e. the maximum count at any one time, and the time of year that you see them. You submit records at least once a month throughout the year, but you can submit the records at any other time. I go out to the garden and if I see butterflies then I make a note of them and they go into the submission as well. The data is used by Butterfly Conservation to monitor the health of garden butterfly populations. Even though urban garden butterfly numbers are in decline, it's still possible to do lots of things in your garden to attract the butterflies. For example, I've got two buddleia bushes which attract the summer butterflies. I have got ivy and a recently planted holly bush for the holly blue butterflies. And I've also recently planted two buckthorn shrub bushes which are supposed to attract the brimstone butterfly. By making a few small changes, I can play my part in helping to reverse the decline in garden butterfly numbers. And it's great to know that by reporting the butterflies I see fluttering around my garden, I can do even more to help save butterflies. Many common butterfly species have seriously declined in the countryside, and this survey helps us to monitor the situation. My name is Tricia Atkinson and I survey butterflies in the countryside. How do we know how the butterflies are faring in the wider countryside? Are they responding well to government-led farming schemes? Are they thriving, surviving or declining? That's where the wider Countryside Butterfly Survey comes in. The way it works, you are randomly assigned a one kilometre grid square. It could be in a town, a village, or a pocket of unexplored countryside. You walk one kilometre through the square one way, and one kilometre back, recording butterflies as you go. You visit your square twice, at least 10 days apart, in July and August although you can visit extra times if you like. The wider Countryside Butterfly Survey shows us how butterflies are doing across the whole landscape. I love recording butterflies. There's always something interesting to see and sometimes I come across something really special. My name is Maggie Moss and I am a member of a team who walk a butterfly transect in inner city urban Bristol. The transect is a regular route that's walked every week for 26 weeks right across the summer and we record butterflies. We have a team and that for us is really good. It means that no one person is responsible for 26 weeks. We often walk it together. Our transect is a real urban transect. We come through a graffiti tunnel much used by local artists we have a nature reserve which has unimproved grassland and we have lots of the marble whites, we get ringlets, we get meadow browns, we get blues, all sorts of butterflies you would associate with grassland and not with urban gardens. The other part of our transect crosses through an allotment site. It's very, very good for butterflies. Urban butterflies are under a lot of pressure and they're also not as well surveyed as rural butterflies are. Surveying butterflies is really important because they are a bit like the canary in the coal mine. Butterfly populations start crashing. We know that something is going on. 
anyone can take part in recording butterflies and it doesn't matter where you are. You could be at home, you could be right out in the countryside or you could be right in the middle of a busy city.